What's up all you crap kids out there? Today, I'm by myself. The kids are busy and I think it'd be a good opportunity for me to teach a little bit about shading. So if you're interested in shading, you think you're ready for shading, I'm gonna show you how to get started on that. And anything that you can take from the lesson today and apply to your drawings, you're already gonna be in a really good spot. So come along with me, let's get started. Today we are here, or I'm here, doing a little lesson on shading. If you feel like you're ready for shading, maybe this would be a good video to check out. So first, we're gonna take some sort of circular item around your house, just trace it. And I'm gonna try to make sure I'm going nice and dark. This way you'll have no problem seeing it. All right, so we have our circle, which we're going to shade to look like a sphere. So we're gonna do some, some shading here. I'm gonna give you an example using these balls and this flashlight, okay? If we have light coming in from the top, okay, hopefully I'm not blocking the camera, but you can see the very intense bright light right there in the center. It kind of spans out and it kind of fades off as you go down the curve of the ball. It becomes less intense. So here you would have it, you here you would leave it just about white or whatever color ball that you want. Leave it a bright color. And then you would slowly shade uh, light to dark, okay? And I'll show you from this angle if we did something similar, the intense light is at what we would call the top over here. Okay, if you hold that flashlight a little further away, the intense light spot gets a little bigger. And then as you get to about halfway is, if it were darker in this room, and didn't have so many lights on this table, this area of the ball would, ha would, would be a really dark shade and darkest down towards the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna, Start shading now, and I'll talk you through it, all right? <clears throat> so up top here, if we had our light, if we, we pretend our light's coming from this direction, we are going to have the light center, or the spot, like the intense, the real intense spot where the, where the light's hitting. It's gonna be up here, okay? And then about halfway down the ball, we're gonna have the difference between the bright side of the ball and the dark side of the ball. So the, the side with the light and the side with the shadow. And that's gonna not be a straight line. It's gonna be a little slight curve to it as you go across, okay? Now, again, this being the light side, most of the stuff on this side is going to stay pretty light. This being the shadowed side, we're gonna have to shade most of that in. So I'm gonna shade this. Um, I'll fast forward it for the most part, but I'll talk through some of the important parts. And I like to turn my paper because it's much easier for me to, these movements are much easier for me than these type of movements. So I'll fast forward, I'll flip it back over and I'll talk to you through it, talk you through it. So what I've done is I've shaded the half of the ball that's away from the light. One thing I want to note is that there's not a hard line here. Right now it's a pretty hard line, but that's not how light works, okay? When we shine it on a ball, you can't, you can't see any real hard lines, okay? It's a soft line, okay? So what I'm going to do, since I'm working in pencil, and if you're working in pencil, it's a great medium for using your finger to smudge. Um, sometimes with colored pencil, that doesn't work. And of course with marker, that's not gonna work either. But there's different techniques. This is simply a pencil technique. So what you can do is you can take one of your fingers, if you don't mind getting it a little smudgy, and you can just take whatever you've shaded and just rub your finger over it. Okay, gives it a nice soft line right here. 
If you have anything that looks too dark, like this is bothering me, it's too dark, just go over it. It doesn't even hurt to leave those little eraser shavings in there. It actually helps kind of blend everything back together. And you can continue to do that until you feel good about it. And if you take too much off, you can always shade it back in. Right? It's just a pro it's just a, a process. I don't really like how that looks. So coming back to it here. This is like a little bit too hard of a line for me. So I'm going to shade that. And then I'll smudge it a little. Okay. You get the general idea of how that works. And it's shaded the darkest down here. All right? And I'm just using a regular number two pencil. So it will only get so dark. But generally, the harder you push, the darker it's going to get. So already we have something that's starting to take shape. It's starting to look, <clears throat> starting to look like a sphere. Okay. The shading in this area here would be like what's technically called half tones, but I like to just call light shading. So you're just gonna go really light. Again, I'm gonna turn my paper. This is easier for me. I'm just gonna go super light here. Turn it back around. My finger again. Start to smudge those. My finger, if anything is Anything's too dark that I don't like it, just quickly go over it with the eraser. Okay. And I've still got that soft line here. I've got my light or my half tones or my light shading here. And this right here, the difference the, the difference between the light center and the half tones is not supposed to have a hard line. So what what do you do? Quiz time, what do you do? Say it out loud. That's right. Use your finger. Smudge it a little bit, create that nice soft line. And if it's too, too hard still, just go over it with your eraser. Okay, and now you are left with something that looks pretty good. Okay, we just have to do shading down here. The way we're gonna do that, it's we're gonna treat the ball as if it's on a table, much like this ball. Or this ball. Okay. <clears throat> we shine the light on it. Again, we have all of our areas: the lights, the light center, light tones, dark half of the ball, and down here on the table. You may not be able to see it from above, but the darkest is right in where my pencil tip is, and it gets lighter as it comes out. Okay. And if I pull that ball, if I pull the light away, it gets even more intense. It's really, really, really dark right in here. It gets lighter and lighter as it goes out this way. So we're gonna represent that. That intense area. We're gonna do just a little, almost like an oval underneath the ball. And we're gonna go dark on that, real dark. Now, that's the most intense shadow. <clears throat> and then, as it goes out, we have that part of the shadow that's much less intense, but it's like a gradient, right? There's no hard lines. And it gets more intense closer to the ball, less intense away from the ball. And we just, you guessed it, take our finger and we smear it, smudge it, smear it. If you really get into this type of <clears throat> type of work, 
you can get pencils that are softer and they will smear even better. They will, they will write even darker or draw even darker. So you should consider that if you're into this type of thing. And just bring everything right out, okay? The more you work at it, the better you'll feel. And then you just take a minute to get any any smudges that you don't want left on your paper. Just get, take, take a moment to erase those. Because once you start smudging, it likes to get everywhere. Okay, so that's an example of how to shape. So after I did the drawing, I thought maybe it would be nice to provide something with some labels on it so you can maybe take a screenshot of it or just come back and watch this video again um, which will give you the guide the fairly fairly beginner guide to shading and you can get some shape to some of your drawings and some depth all right guys here's what uh, we came up with for a little shading guide uh, even if you can just apply certain parts of this to your drawings, you'll add some depth, you'll add some uh, some great detail. So good luck. Again, don't go for perfection, go for fun. Um, stick with it, stay awesome, keep drawing. See you next time.